All right, what up, y'all? It's Thursday the 21st. Yesterday, and actually the last two days off, I've actually spent trying to finish this 25-minute vlog, which is the longest one that I've done. And for whatever reason or another, it's really hard for me to just, like, sit and stay still. But having to, like, work through that vlog and work through, like, a lot of the footage, which I shouldn't have recorded so much, but I was just so excited about being back home that... I did and so having to I was just like dreading sitting down so I would edit for like an hour I would get up walk around edit again for an hour get up and walk around so it was a lot of that and that's why it took me so long which pushed back the podcast stuff but today is my final day off so I'm gonna try to work on like a setup in my room to see what looks best on camera to start shooting for that and kind of just brainstorm ideas for the next 10 episodes I want to make sure that I get that done um, within the next two weeks so I can record, edit those episodes. The episodes for the podcast, since it's more conversational and there's really not much to edit, it's super, it's a super quick turnaround, so I'm pretty sure I can get it done. But also, you know, priorities, so that's going to be my priority after I figure out, um, you know, like what topics I want to talk about and, you know, um, and then like the setup and stuff. So right now, I'm actually... What time is it? It's 8.43 in the morning. I'm on my way to go get coffee so I can finish this TikTok. Um, and I do want to shoot like a behind the scenes of making a TikTok because it takes me about 30 minutes to about an hour depending on what I'm shooting. If it's like one of those good morning videos with that song that I'm constantly using, those take me about an hour. Anything else is probably like 30 to 45, but it does take a minute. And so to like, oh, and I was so mad at myself because yesterday I rode my bike to go shoot pictures and also get coffee for the TikTok. And plus, because I wanted coffee and I've always wanted to go to James Coffee and I didn't realize it's like four minutes down the way. I rode my bike there and then for whatever reason, oh, I know why. I rode my bike there, got my coffee, you know, I was like editing on my phone for the TikTok and then there was this like homeless lady like just wilding out, like literally like right behind me. I don't know at what point she was gonna like flip out or something. She was like yelling at the top of her lungs. So I'm sitting there trying to edit, also trying to focus on this lady. And I, one of these, I don't know what I did like this, I deleted all the footage. I deleted like a good, like if it was this long, I deleted this part here. And mind you, the videos are only 60 seconds. So every second like counts of the edit. And I was just like, Fuck. so I just, I redid it and you've probably seen it by now, but it's just, it's not what I had originally recorded. It's just, I had to, you know, adjust and make it work for me because I wasn't just gonna not do it since I've been consistently posting so that kind of sucks becoming like a content curator creator whatever you want to call it it's kind of lonely because like yes I do love being around people but it's super hard to focus like if I'm trying to get an idea out and I'm like trying to make it work and if my idea after I put it into action doesn't work and it's like me having to adjust to like make it work I can't think if there's too many people around me. I have to be alone, which kind of sucks because like, I do love watching other people's creative process. But at the same time, like in my own, I'm realizing that I have to be alone in order for, for me to be productive and get it done like the way I actually like it. Granted, every video that I post or every post that I post isn't 100% what I absolutely want, to, want it to be. But I also can't like... I also can't just like sit on things for so long and dwell on them and then eventually not even putting out because the footage is so old. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. That's a really bad habit that I used to have. So the turnaround time is quicker for me because I'm just not, I'm, even though I am working to make it as best I can be, it's whatever's going to be best for that moment, which is one of the things that I would recommend as a creator is making sure that you're still putting out the content, even if you're not a hundred percent with it. Okay. That was very long winded. Let's go get coffee. So, I got some news yesterday. Let me put this down. Yesterday was one of my last days off. I got some news yesterday about work, and it took me all day to process, including this morning. I actually went to work to go give my team the news. But basically, as of yesterday, my position has been terminated, which means 
I'm being severanced out of work due to COVID. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, what, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna pay for shit? Like, trust, I went through all those emotions yesterday, but in some weird way, I feel like, I feel like this was supposed to happen because there's been so many little things that have happened in the last, like, basically this month of January where it's just like, like I'm on, I'm like, I'm on some kind of wave and there's some type of momentum happening where, let me sit you down, where I'm kind of like, I kind of want to do this content thing full time and I wish I had more time. And the crazy part, let me focus. And the crazy part is, but yesterday as I was making the TikTok to go get coffee, I was like, man, I wish I had more time to like make content because I think I can make more. And I went to take a walk at Seaport Village, came back and actually started like working on like podcast episodes. Um, and then I usually never check my work phone. Usually never check it because it's my day off or whatever. But I checked it and I had like 11 missed calls and like five text messages where I was like, it didn't even like cross my mind that that was going to come. So I look at my phone and I'm just like, oh shit, I got a bunch of calls. Oh, let me call my boss back. And he just lays it on me. Lays it on me and I'm just like, wait, what? Say that again? It just like totally goes over my head and I'm just like, Kind of like, I guess in shock, right? Cause I never, like I've been with the company for so long, 11 years. And it's always been, it's always been my golden handcuffs. Like that's, I love the company, everything they did for me. Like that company took care of me up to this point is going to take care of me. So it's not like, you know, it's not no like bad feelings towards the company. Like I understand because of COVID and you know, performance, it is like, you know, for profit organization. It's never not going to be, it's a wireless industry. So like, what do you expect? It was just more, it's just more of like, even though I was in shock, it's just more of like, God, is this a sign? And like, it's almost like I'm speaking things into existence because this is like one of the like, I don't know, five main events that had happened recently in the last like two-ish months where it's almost like everything just keeps growing and progressing and gradually getting better and I don't I don't know. I don't know what it is and I just don't know how else to take it. So I went to work today. I'm still scheduled till next week. I went to work today and um and I have to, you know, tell my team because they don't know yet. I have to tell my team along with the other manager and we have to tell my like we have to tell the team like the changes that are happening. I have to deliver the message, and you you know you work with people. And like granted, I've only been here a couple months with this team, but I like got really like I meshed well with that team. And that team is like just shout out to that team because that's like the best team I've ever ever worked with like as a collective group. Like, and this is like how how well they've adapted, just their attitude at work, and that's just like something that you don't really see often especially in the wireless industry, you get a lot of burnt out people. And so to come into this team and for that team to like fully embrace me, it was like I was really, you know, like really in a groove and like, I don't know, I just adapted well to that team. So I got like naturally just like attached to the team. And so to see the reaction after like giving the message, I'm just like, you know, like they felt so, like they're just like in shock and like you could tell like they wanted to cry and they felt bad. And it's just like they have all these feelings and emotions which even yesterday when I got the news, I didn't feel like, like I didn't feel like crying. I didn't feel like, I just, I was emotional in the sense of like, this is like a big moment. Like this is like, this is going to be a pivotal moment in my life. And if I felt any type of emotion, like that's what I feel like. I feel in a weird way, like relieved from the golden handcuffs and also like excited, I'm scared. I'm scared 100%, I'm not even gonna lie, like I'm scared, but I also thrive off of like my back being against the wall. To me, that like pushes me and challenges me beyond anything. And so, like even with like creating videos for TikTok, sometimes they take me a while to 
to do them, you know? And sometimes it takes me a little bit to do it. Whatever it is, like, when I'm telling myself, okay, you have to create a TikTok every single day, and you have to turn it around and post it, like, within the hour or whatever, right before work. So as I'm, like, doing these things and I'm, like, giving myself a timeline, now I feel like the universe is telling me, like, okay, you're gonna have, like, the first couple months to like really go full send on this and I just never been in this type of position even though I'm feel more scared I'm just like really really excited I just don't know how else to put it and I know it sounds weird and maybe this is weird for some people because they I mean I don't necessarily have a plan but I have a few things it lined up where I know that I'm gonna be able to make this work for myself and really do something that I actually enjoy doing which is so crazy because it's like you know, I created the podcast a year ago and I was just, you know, trying to encourage people to do the things. And now it's like, now the universe is encouraging me to do the things. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm just like, ooh, I have a lot of adrenaline in me. The universe is telling me to do the things and I'm just like, wow, is this really happening? Like, I'm still wrapping my head around it. But again, like, I feel scared, excited, relieved. But like, I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. Like, this is going to be like a journey for me to document and it's just gonna be just a pivotal time in my life and I, I cannot wait to share that with you and I cannot wait to create more content because at this point this is what it's going to be and you know I know a lot of other people have been affected through COVID and whatnot and maybe you know it's not necessarily the best circumstances that you're you're given but it's really up to you to make it what you want it to be so for me i'm going to make this work for me 100 percent. i don't i don't care what i have to do to do to get it there but it's going to happen i'm going to make it happen i'm going to speak it into existence and so if you have been affected by covid or whatnot and you're kind of lingering or on the fence about doing that thing do the thing this is your time this is a sign do the thing get after it because i know that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to document it and share that with you guys that is my news. It's kind of big. It's really big. I don't think God puts us in any situations that we can't handle. So, that being said, let's get this thing. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No need, no face, cause they're not factual. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room. 